please excuse my bad hair day. I've been fishing out of a van for the last three days. How much luck have you had? None. Not a single bite. My mate had a few straps, but that was it. cold and there's an icy layer on top of the mud as you can see if Owen just showed you with the camera now we've come to this ledge first because you know you'll notice that the water is off this point so we get the first bit of run on this ledge and then later on when this ledge covers we'll move up to the right hand side where you can see obviously you get an extra hour or so on so anyway that's our reason to come to this ledge first to get the tide run Welcome to this glorious episode of Fishing Brothers. It's days like this to make you glad you got up in the morning. I don't think it matters if we catch anything today. Just look at that for a day. It's a cracking little mark. Can be really, really productive both summer and winter. But like all of our videos lately, <laughs> we're not promising anything. Just doubled up with a couple of little beasts. Little miniature codling. At least it's a couple of cod though. Obviously you can see who's the daddy is. <laughs> yeah. Well let's get him back, are we tiny? Lovely. Come on, get up. <laughs> it makes the session all but We've had to remove spots from the original original mark. The ledge we was on initially, the water hits that ledge first. So now we've had to come a bit further down the down the shore to a mark where the ledge, the water takes a little bit longer to get onto. So we're just fishing that now. Just a bit burned up the last of the smelly blacks. Or the, well, not blacks. It's a mixture of flipping blue and yellow tails, but they battered so I thought I'd chuck them all on. Bit of black on white. Any advice for people on how to make their baits? Well, keep them streamlined. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, if you're casting and you're looking to cast out, you know, a bit of a distance, then obviously try and keep your baits like compact and streamlined so they don't flip and fly off the hook or wobble in midair. But I mean, you don't have to band it up like a lunatic if you're just flicking it overhead. You know. I mean, I like to make my baits roughly two to three inches long, so it's just like a mouthful, like, you know? Easy for them to suck up. Nice cod parcel. I don't like the hooks to be too far apart, as you can see by here, look. Because obviously some fish will come and hit the bait in the middle and then not get hooked. So, yeah, so I like it. There we go. And if people worry about the size of your bait when you're cod fishing, I think you've done alright there. Nice little then. Hopefully this is a good sign of uh, maybe the spring or next winter. Yeah, you can see by the, the, the mottledness and the, the, the spottedness, they're like a spring run fish quite early in the so they, yeah, like, they haven't been in the channel for very long though. Nah, they shouldn't have been in, with mottling like that, you probably haven't been in the channel very long though. They tend to lose a lot of the colour once they've been in the murky water. Anyway, grab this guy for the fish back. Hello, Mr. Cardi.
tell you what, he's bloody rubbish this boy. Bloody rubbish. Okay, let's have a look at mine. Four fish between us. Was Cold. It, was it four? Yeah, four fish, three on camera. Yeah, three on camera, that's right, yeah. Four little ones. Uh, cracking day, freezing cold, minus three to start the day off. My hands, they just wouldn't warm up this morning. But uh, worth it in the end, when the sun was beating down on us, it's actually a pleasant down there, you know. The, the wind did pick up actually, didn't it? The easterly wind did pick up. Yeah, it did towards the end of the session, but it was like a flipping spring day down there. Yeah, I, it was glorious. Day. I was toasty, honestly. Busy with bites, we had a couple of huge, big slamming bites. I did have a, I, a, a my last cast was a full squid, nice big one, put it out there. I had a slamming bite on it. But came to nothing, unfortunately. But um, I don't know, I cut the bikes all the way through, really. Yeah, that's it. Enough to keep you busy, like, man, and keep you uh, interested, like, unlike the rest of the wind that we've had this year, like. Yeah, it's just nice to go have a fishing session where you're catching a few fish, you know? Yeah. Before, we're, we're fingers crossed, hoping for one fish, and then at least we managed to pick a few out. And if you ask me, I think it bodes well for maybe the spring might be a little bit better, yeah, but yeah, hopefully so next cool. winter it'll pick up because I can remember a couple of years ago me and Tom was fishing and we were catching codling after codling but they were tiny and then that winter we had a cracking winter we we well you had over under cod that winter easily oh yeah I probably yeah was in mind um two to three pound loads and loads of them so hopefully that's gonna happen again hopefully we'll get the same thing happen again yeah that's it um just quickly rag and squid and some leftover left yellow tails, yellow tails that they, were a bit rotten. Yeah, <laughs> just banding them on like mulch. It's the way forward in life, trust me. The more elastic, the better. <laughs> Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. See you again. See you on the bank sometime.